right, all you freedom-loving, Paul Revere-speaking boys and girls out there, Mark Centerline Systems. Again, Mad Scientist Dojo. We're going to do a, a, a little a video. It's going to be a little bit longer, but not super long. It's probably to be about seven, eh, maybe seven to ten minutes. So it's kind of a t cross between a TTP and a short. Don't give me too much crap because a short shouldn't be ten minutes. I get you. <clears throat> Excuse me. But so, uh, you know, you guys are all such great customers. So even since the last video that we did on our folding saw pouches and some little tricks and tips that you can use with it, I've had a couple other comments and one of which resulted in, uh, I made a little product for this person and we might throw this in our gear strap kit. So, so go get yourself an adult beverage, strap in, burn a cancer stick, whatever you need to do, come back, hit play, and then uh, we'll get right back into it. So, all right, well, we'll do a little something different. I don't know what yet this time. Oh, great. All right, we're back from that electrifying. <laughs> See what I just did there? I'm so, it's so horrible. Uh, welcome to my world. All right, but hey, we're back. And what we're gonna do is I wanna just share a little info about some cool things that I just recently got and then answer some of the questions or share with you uh, some of the results and some of the interactions I've had with some customers that you might find interesting as well. So first off, let me just say, preface this, uh, I'm not a representative or a spokesman for any of the gear that I use. I just like it, right? Plain and simple. You do you. I'm sure you've got your own preferences. But here's something that I actually learned of from some of you great boys and girls. So in my previous videos, you've heard me talk about my, my silky big boy that I have and how much I freaking love that saw, right? Uh, totally has turned me on to these like mid-size folders. Well, as you can see in front of me, Right? I think I'm in the perfect spot right there for uh, zooming, but they came out with a new version. So here, actually, talking ain't doing, right? So here's mine that I've had now for a couple years, which, you know, very colorful, very easy. The lights just went down. Was that on purpose or what just happened there? We may have some technical issues going on here, or I shouldn't have made a joke about <laughs> electric. So anyway, Maybe we're gonna have to do a pause. We're gonna have to sit and figure this out. So what we're gonna do, a un never unprecedented, oh no, here we go. I was gonna say an unprecedented little splice, but I think the lights are coming back up here. All right, so this is mine. I've had for a couple of years. So very high visibility yellow, a stainless kind of color to it. You know, it's a great saw. But this guy right here, again, just looks all ninja and badass, right? So these new handles, it's not really micarta. I don't know what it is, but it looks really cool. And then of course the black, but you still get the same awesomeness of that blade. You know, that thing just shreds through woods. I mean, through wood. I mean, this and a good ax, I feel like you could just build your own village out in the woods. Um, so I'm gonna put him off to the side. I'm gonna put this guy back in here because we need something in here in a little bit. And then, well, you know, honestly, I'm gonna keep this open for a second. Um, Cause I wanna show another thing. So we have the buck saw pouch which is designed around the Agawa Canyon Boreal 21. It's a larger, so we have three sizes. We got the folding saw pouch, which is for your standard, like, you know, smaller folding saws. Then we've got the big boy, which is for intermediate type of saws, um, like a Sven saw or the big boy by Silky. And then we have the buck saw pouches for the larger buck saws. So now Agawa Canyon makes the Boreal 21. And so again, somebody else just brought this to my attention. They just came out with the Agawa. This is the Boreal 15. Now I haven't used this yet. It's the same design as the Boreal 21. It's a great saw, um, but this is now a smaller, more compact version of their Boreal 21. And as I like to say, talking ain't doing. So there you go. Fits inside of the big boy folding saw pouch just perfectly, right? So you got tons of room in there. It fits really nicely. So if you like more of these buck saw designs as opposed to the folders, you know, again, I really like the Boreal 21, so I don't know why I won't like this. And well, right now it's 20 <laughs> below outside. So I'm not going out and messing around with this. You can go do the field research and let me know. I'll do the field testing here come spring uh, and summer of this year. Well, hopefully if I get my back surgery, I'll be able to do that. So we'll see, there might be I sure as hell hope I'm still not laid up come June and July. All right, so now that was one thing, just a couple new saws that are out there that you may not be aware of. They're awesome uh, saws, I like both of them. You know, again, I'm sure there's other companies out there as well. I already mentioned Sven uh, saws and I didn't have one of my Sven saw in front of me, but, but great companies, right? So just check those out. 
But now, so those conversations about these new saws led me to what I'm about to talk about. So I've had a couple customers who on their big boy folding saw pouch, so the kicker strap, right, the strap down here in the bottom, this is to stop the handle, right, so I'm just running a large hawk through here. It's just a, like a little bit of a handle retention tool, right? Keeping that handle from truly swaying off, way off to the right or left, thereby possibly tripping you up as you're walking or running or whatever you're doing out in the woods, right? So that's just a regular hawk. These are, this is a pretty cool uh, hawk. Did a little bit, you can see, really have had this for a while from Cold Steel. I'm really impressed with it, actually. But so that is the right size length handle to come down here. You know, when we design this, you're thinking you're running a little bit of a larger camp axe, right? So this Hawk is a great example of one. But here's another really great axe. This is an H. Roselli. And as you can see, he comes up a little bit short. And maybe you're into shovels. So this H. Roselli comes up a little bit short. This really good titanium uh, field shovel, it comes up a little bit short too, right? So this is what some people were asking. Like, hey Mark, so if I'm running a smaller camp axe, right? Let's say I'm running a, you know, a Grands Four Brooks or, you know, this H. Roselli, and it comes up a little short. So here's what I wanted to talk about. So here's the little, uh, what do they call them? Life hacks. Here's the little hack or the TTP on this. And it also might result in another uh, addition to our, our, our gear strap kits. So first and foremost, when you get the big boy folding saw pouch, you've got a leg strap that goes right through here through this little tab on the bottom, right? This tab, you could put a carabiner here, but it comes with this leg strap. So if you're gonna wear this on your waist and if you wanted to have a leg strap, Okay, well you could take this leg strap off. So here's a solution to what you got going on here, right? And there's a couple different ways to do this. So just bear with me for a second, right? But up in the front, I have all the molly, right? I have all the molly in the world. And I also have all the molly in the back, right? Where the, where the molly loops come down, where this could then turn into where you're gonna attach it to a rucksack or you're gonna make it into a belt channel. All right, so uh, uh, an unprecedented break in the action, uh, drinking a bubbly water and uh, make me a little gaseous, a little burpy, the mic's right here. No one needs to hear that. No one needs to hear that. So coming back to what I was saying. So if your handle doesn't go down to the kicker strap, use the webbing up front, which you know that webbing's designed where you can put other pouches, but take the leg strap as I was saying, and then, again, there's a million different ways you can do this. I'm just gonna do one real quickly. Just come up through a piece of the webbing. That's all you really gotta do. You could do this the other way, come from the back and go to the front. You know what I'm already getting at. And then just weave it back through your guy. You actually could have done it. You didn't even need to undo it, right? And then I could just have this up front, you know, again, so I'm doing this kind of in a really haphazard way, but you get the point, right? Just weave it through the webbing, use that leg strap, and now I could tighten that, and there, is that showing up? So I could tighten that and I could make my own kicker strap up here just using the leg strap. Now you might not wanna do that because simply, I mean, look what you're gonna be left. You're gonna have a lot of excess webbing and, uh, and the material just kind of like all over the place. So that may not be what you really want to try to do. So based on a question that a customer, this exact question, so what I just did is, now just don't worry about that for now, but as I just took some webbing, got a good zoom there, and I made two loops on each end. So now this gentleman can come around the back, make his own kicker strap wherever he wants. He could do it on the top roll of the front molly. I could come down one more roll if my handle was just a little bit longer and go to the middle row. If you're coming down to the bottom, you're just already in the normal kicker strap. But I could now take this and put this where I want based on the type of ax that I'm using. And then up on the front side here, what you'll just see is, I'm gonna kind of leap. Well, that's against the mic. How's that? Can you actually still hear me and see that? But on the front side, you can see these loops come around. Here, I'm actually just gonna do it this way. Get that tucked out of the way, there. And the loops were already, they're all the way up here on the front. And what that allows me to do is, whether I'm using an S-beaner, whether I'm using a two-way adapter, so I could come through 
one part of the loop, one part of the molly. There, that should show up pretty good right there. Right, and these two-way adapters, uh, they come with all of our shoulder straps and our padded strap wraps. So if you're looking for some system like that and you know, you want, you're not getting a shoulder strap, for example, but you're getting a gear strap kit and you want me to throw a couple of these in there, too easy, you just gotta let me know. S-beaners, you're on your own, right? I'm just giving you some examples. These little, I can't remember what these guys are called, um, but I know they're pretty, uh, pretty popular. Actually, here's another way. Here's the way I, I maybe would have done this, is you could put this guy through here and if you really want to get interested, oh, here, so talking ain't doing, let's see if I can do this on camera while trying to hold the big boy and prevent it from sliding all over the table. There we go. Well, I did it partially. So I think these are called Grimlocks. I think that's what they're, Grimlocks. So if you zoom in, you might be able to see that. I would just have to scrunch this in a little bit and then I could lock that webbing in place right there and then use this other portion of the Grimlock up front There, and then you see what I'm getting at. And then this webbing would be going around the backside, creating the kicker strap, just like that. So you get the, you get the point. There's all kinds of little connection uh, uh, devices, tools, S-beaners, like I said, and uh, you know, a whole bunch of different, different options that you might want to use. These little like uh, uh, figure nines by Night Eyes with a little beaner on the front, these are always awesome tools. I could have used this in a million ways. And then what that would have still left me would have been, I could have figured nine some cordage off of it if I was hanging like a knife or a, uh, a ferrule rod or whatever. So these guys are always really great. They work great for ridge lines and things like that. So, you know, you do you. There's a million different ways to finally attach it, but I think we're gonna start including uh, this guy going forward in all of the gear strap kits because it just gives you this opportunity to do exactly what I'm saying here, you know, if you just want a kicker strap. Now, if you're getting a big boy, or you know, this wouldn't work on our normal folding stop pouch because you don't have it. Um, our, our buck stop pouch is temporarily suspended. Don't worry, it's, there's nothing wrong. It's just that we're super busy, so we've got to kind of like draw down and focus on some things because I want to bring in a few new products. So there's a little inside baseball. If you waited, if you, if you watched all the way through this video to this point right now, even with the cuts and the edits and the electrifying, you know, intro part, um, yeah, a little inside baseball. I'm trying to bring in a couple new products and the, the reality is it just, it takes time. And, uh, you know, and, and with the labor issues, you know, throughout the country, you know, we're suffering from it as well. So um, I want to bring in a few more products stay tuned and I think we'll just start throwing this guy into the gear strap kit but if you so again if you really 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 wanted a buck stop pouch you just gotta like let me know and ask me and we can still we can still do it and we'll bring it back but right now we're gonna focus on the big boy and the regular folding saw but so this technique right here works on the big boy and the buck saw pouch the folding side doesn't have any of the webbing up front it doesn't have the little kicker panel and if you're running it it's just a small it's such a smaller pouch on you know if you ran it on a full size axe i mean you could do that remember but you do you right but so this little uh, strap right here really gives you the option of creating your own kicker uh, strap on the uh, the medium and the large size folding saw pouches all right that was my clap to say, I think that pretty much covers it right there. Uh, but, but this is really all based on some great questions and great conversations with all of you awesome individuals. individuals. So keep it coming. I really like it. Hopefully you're finding some of these, uh, sharing some of those questions and comments in these videos. I hope you find it in informative and if nothing else, at least a little en entertaining. So as always, reach out anytime with big open arms, give me your questions and your comments uh, below in this video or a text message, phone call, email, whatever you wanna do, I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can, do the best I can to help you out. Until then, be your own Paul Revere. Woo!